Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out the Magical Mixture Mill, which is an automation, I guess, tycoon game uh, where you're in control of a witchy potion manufacturing establishment. Anyway, uh, let us jump into things right about now. Um, right, so it doesn't particularly matter which type of uh, person? person, wizard, barbarian, whatever we choose to play as. Uh, we're going to jump into things uh, right about now. Now, there is a little bit of tutorializing, uh, but pretty quickly we'll be able to get to the good old-fashioned the good old-fashioned automation stuff. I'm going to mostly skip through uh, skip through things here because we need to get to we need to get to a, uh, not necessarily an advanced stage of the game, uh, but we need to do a few things before we can start automating, which uh, frankly is exactly what I am hoping to do. So, um, this is our character. Uh, this is, I guess, our wizarding savior, the Purple Witch. Uh, and what we are going to hopefully do uh, is we're hopefully going to speak to Boggle Woggle, the Bag Goblin, uh, who is, uh, I guess, our little nefarious gremlin who is going to who is going to help us develop uh, a little bit of a a little bit of a a little bit of a sneaky uh, automated setup. Anyway, right. Let's go into bed. And let us get to production in the morning. Uh, right, so, yeah, there's a little bit of lore, uh, as you can imagine, with a with a witch based with a witch based story. But it doesn't particularly matter for our purposes because we want to get to automating, we want to get to manufacturing, and we want to get to selling, uh, which is exactly what we want to try and do. Okay, I bet you're itching to repay uh, old Griselda, Gris Griselda, uh, for nursing you back from the brink of death. Well, indeed, we're going to do that. Right, so, uh, we'll move into the workshop, and this is where the magic, quite literally, is going to happen. Um, pun, in, pun very much intended. Oh, this is, uh, well, she stole my line. <laughs> this is where the magic used to happen. Uh, anyway, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to start the process of turning uh, some raw resources into uh, into a healing potion. So, uh, we are going to dance on outside, and we are going to start collecting a few resources. Now, um, this game feels lovely to play. Um, we can collect what is called a proud cap. Uh, it looks a little bit phallic, um, but don't let that deceive you. It's, it's, a, it's a mushroom, don't worry. Uh, anyway, we're going to collect a few of them. It's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to get the ability to destroy other things in this environment here. So we're going to be able to start mining and chopping trees very, very quickly indeed. But for now, we just need to get the basics sorted. And the way that we do that is by starting the bottling process right about here. Okay, so um, we can uh, we can go and get our bottles first. Go and get our bottles first, and then we'll go and do the other stuff. So um, each and every day, um, we get a little uh, we get a little package in the mail. Uh, if we go to bottle subscription, you can see it. Every day we get twenty five bottles delivered right to the uh, right to the mailbox. We can also invest in different things, but. We can't do that in the demo uh, at the moment, uh, and presumably there is, you know, other mail that we can get, perhaps get, uh, you know, some subscriptions for some other herbs, that sort of stuff. Either way, we'll be, you know, we'll be buying, selling resources, etc. We will be doing that all uh, from the mailbox. Now, 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 now. Uh, we are going to get to the process of manufacturing. Uh, we need to produce a single healing potion. We've got two bits of uh, equipment here. Well, I guess three if you include the chest, which is a handy little bit of kit. Uh, we've got the extractor and we've got the bottler. Now, if we click on the extractor, uh, what we can do is we can add a single proud cap. That we can literally only add one. Um, I can add, I try to add as many as I want. We can only add one. We'll get to the automating bit in a second, but for now we're going to make it manually. We add one single, uh, one single thingy to the extractor. Uh, we add a single bottle to the bottler, and then we can individually turn both of these on, like so. And we turn this on. Excellent. And suddenly. Look at that, we are producing, we're producing healing potion, and that didn't work, but that's fine, we'll try again. It just spits it out, and we pick it up automatically. As you can see, there's literally healing stuff in the, in the tube, so hopefully by the time that, yep, there we go, fantastic, it's all dispensed into the bottle, the bottle kicks out, and it's into our inventory, like so. Excellent. Cool. Very nice indeed, isn't it? Uh, we give you the healing potion. 
um, happy days. And look at that. We get ourselves a little uh, a little chunk of cheddar as well. Well, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. However, my nefarious gremlin-y friend over here is going to teach me how to automate this entire process. And this is where this game really starts to get very, very interesting. Uh, we need to collect a little bit of wood in order to make it happen. Uh, but we will be able to do that very, very easily indeed. So this is what I was talking about. We've got our opportunity to get... Uh, got an opportunity to get some wood. Uh, there is a slightly easier way that the barbarian can collect wood. If we press the space button, um, we're going to go into like a super saiyan attack and that's going to allow us to chop down like a bunch of trees really, really rapidly. And it gets us 36 wood very, very quickly, in fact. Uh, but usually we will be chopping away like so, but it's going to take us almost no time at all because that was a very, very effective special move. There we go. We've got 49 wood. We just need a little bit, a little bit more. And, you know, we'll also collect some, uh, also collect some more mushrooms whilst we're over here, eh? Before dancing back into the underground cellar over here. Okay, we'll talk to you. Uh, we'll skip through all of your dialogue because it doesn't really matter because, as I say, I've already done it and um, I know exactly what I need to do. So, this is where things start getting fun. Uh, we can actually... We can actually build a whole bunch of equipment, but what we need to do in order to fulfill this mission is build two crates. Now, the way that the crates work, the way that crates work is they are, uh, they have one output and they've got three inputs. So you can actually see the filled white arrow on the crate is the output, uh, and we want to line that up to the input of the extractor. Uh, in the same way that we want to line up the input to the bottler, over here, and that is going to allow us to hold, hopefully, there we go, if we stick, uh, well, actually, I might as well talk to Boggle Woggle, just to make sure that he's happy with me, yep, um, what we do is we stick all of these things in there, uh, so that automatically will get passed into the extractor, and we stick all 49 bottles right in there, like so, happy days, we are ready to go, and once everything is set up, we speak to we speak to Boggle Woggle again, um, or actually, should I say, we right click on him and we tell him to start all workstations. And he summons a magical spell because apparently he can't move because he's in a he's in a he's in a backpack. Uh, and suddenly, look at that! It's all working. It's all working. That, disregard the bottle there, but that's that's fine. Once it's all yeah, once it's all good, it'll it'll work. Um, and in fact, I'll just stick an extra stick the extra bottles back in there. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It's working just fine. We can leave these to collect on the floor. Um, the great thing, the great thing about, the great thing about these machines um, is that they work when you're asleep. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a sleep. Uh, it is the middle of the day. You can hear those bottles accumulating in the background. It's pretty, pretty cool. I like it a lot. And then we'll skip forward to the morning. And in the morning at 8 o'clock, we should wake up. And what do you know? Look at all that. Look at all those healing potions. Oh, that is fantastic. That is really, really good. Um, we can also go and grab some more bottles, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I did say that uh, the bottles refresh at a rate of 25 a day. So we will go and nab all of them. And we will speak to you on the way back. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much what we have to do on the automation front. There's no real reason for me not to be constantly making more healing potions. I'm quite happy to do that. Right, okay. Uh, so we need to we need to repair the teleportal, which is a thing in the world. Um, we've got a third tool now, which is going to allow us to mine these slightly paler rocks. Uh, we need to repair the teleporter. Uh, the teleporter or the tele teleportal, should I say, requires 25 stone and... Sorry, 25 clay and 50 stone to repair. We can only get certain rocks. Uh, there we go. This is one of them. And we get, like, what, six rocks, three clay per. And we can destroy a whole bunch of other stuff with this axe now as well. Or this pickaxe, should I say. Uh, we can also utilize our special attack move. Which I may very well... Which I may very well do if I see an opportunity of lots of clustered rocks. But to be honest, we don't really need to worry about this. We don't really need to worry about it too, too much. 
Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be enough. Probably gonna be enough wood or clay after. Yeah, okay, maybe a few more rocks. I tell you what, let's do, oh, this is perfect. Nice, there we go. Okay, that's gonna be plenty, 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 I imagine. Yeah, absolutely plenty. Let's go and, let's go and get that uh, portal repaired. There we go. Anytime I see wood, I should probably try and get it. I know we're gonna need wood for a few things in the future anyway, so that's fine. Right, very, very simple, very, very simple repair job here. And we will go back and uh, speak to the witch and see what our next task is. Okay, excellent. Okay, we need to collect a little bit more wood. We need to collect a few more healing potions. I'll collect the wood right now. That was the wood that I was talking about needing a little bit earlier. Uh, I should be able to just... Ah. There we go. Nice, plenty of wood. Right, so we need to build the sample stand outside the city gates in order to sell our healing potion wares. Uh, we have a little look at the world. The world is not wholly discovered. So if we teleport over here, which we will do, the only location that we can teleport, it'll, it'll actually, yeah, show us a bunch of new locations. So we can see that we've got the broken stone bridge back in the OG location. We've got the shop over there, broken cart, the mine, Tully's camp, scarecrow, city gate. That's where we're going. Uh, and then we've got the lighthouse down here. Now, we are going to the city gates, which is just up here, which is nice. And this is where we need to build the sample stand. Three samples, one per person. Well, I hope I hope everybody in this magical world is honest and doesn't take more than one healing potion. But there we go. Anyway, the sample stand has been built. I have no idea how many potions are actually going to be given away for free. I'm not in charge. I'm just following the witch's orders. We'll jump back and we'll see what more she's got to say. Cool. But certainly, thus far, I am very much enjoying this game. I really, really, really am. It's a little bit heavy on the dialogue. Oh, look at that. A little bit heavy on the old dialogue, but what can I say? I, I love the feel of it. It's it's really, really nice. Go brew up another batch of healing potions so we share 50 this time. Sure. Um, just deposit them in the shop crate. I'll price them and stock the shelves. Sure. Okay, I can do that. I can absolutely do that. How many healing potions do I have on my person? I've got 49. Well, I'm gonna need to sleep. I'm gonna need to sleep because we don't have enough bottles to fulfill that order. We'll sleep, grab the bottles from outside, continue to do the healing potions, and we only need to wait for one. Literally, we only need to wait for one. Uh, to get done. Uh, but I tell you what, before I do that, we can have a little look at what we've got going on over here. A cargo lift. Very, very cool. Needs to be repaired and also disabled in the demo. Pretty disappointed, but that's fine. Uh, we've got a Shroompedia in here, which is a little bit of an overview of all of the, uh, the art of brewing, which is nice. And then also some notes on some notes on some notes on life from different recipes. We've got an alchemy table uh, with research. We can research different research different things. I don't know I don't know if this is going to give us a tremendous amount of information. Look at this effect effect on effect on certain different recipes. You love to see it. Very very cool. Um, we can also enchant our tools, which um, I don't think that we can do right now uh, because it's disabled in the demo. But again, very very nice. Very very nice stuff. Let's deposit the forty nine healing potions in there, and then we'll head back upstairs and we'll do we'll grab the bottles. Oh, I don't know what he's jumping around for. Back in here. And... Oh, I've got 50 bottles. How do I have 50 bottles? I have no idea. Either way, it doesn't particularly... doesn't particularly matter, because we only need one. Let's grab our one singular healing potion, and then put it in this magical shop crate over here. I do love the, the broom that is sort of wandering around, just cleaning up, cleaning up wherever uh, wherever I go. Okay, we need to make the mana potion, another classic potion. Honestly, how, how have you survived this long without any, without any goods to sell? Okay. Mage root is a very accessible source of mind essence, only found at the old mine. Okay, 25 mana potion deposited into the shop crate. 
Yeah, we will do that. Um, maybe I should not... Maybe I should save... Yeah, I'll tell you what. Take 25 of those out. That's fine. Because I don't want to use up all of my bottles. I don't think that I'm going to take a whole day to get all of this stuff done. But I tell you what, before we go out and see if we can try and, and see what we can try and find, let's deposit stuff that I suspect is not going to be useful. Yeah, we'll keep the rest on me. Just I'll just keep the rest on me just in case. Ooh, look at this. Cecil the Paladin. Greetings, potion seller. Indeed, greetings. Right, let's have a little look at the map. So we are up here. We need to be going over here. Uh, that's quite a ways away. Bees? I think that's over here. Can we cut down? I tell you what, let's try cutting through this. Let's try cutting through this field. Famous last words. Yeah, I don't think we can cut through that field. Okay, well, we'll try. We'll try the next one, which is going to guarantee guarantee to get us there. The mine. There we go. In this direction, you can see the spade pointing in this direction. Love to see it. I guess we'll just continue to wander. Look at all these trees. I should be using... Hold on. I should be using my special ability. Look at that. That's an ungodly large amount of wood that we've managed to get there. That's quite nice. Okay, let's continue to go this way. Continue to go this way. And we shall see if the mine is here. Ah, this looks good. Uh, is it... Is it mined with the scythe or is it mined with the, uh, the pickaxe? I think it might be the pickaxe. So what do we got here? This is what? This is iron ore. Okay, so the magical blue stuff is the mage root. Yeah, there we go. So I need to check the... I need to check the exact quantities. Centipedes. Ugh, don't like centipedes. I need to check the exact recipe, but we'll just get as much mage root as we possibly can. Oh my giddy ant. That is far too much iron. That's far too much iron. It's gone everywhere. <laughs> it's gone everywhere. <laughs> Can we drop something? Maybe I should have anticipated that this would have been problematic. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can I drop 13 wood? Destroy. Did I get the extra mage root? No, I got I got extra stone. I mean, I don't particularly care. I think that's it for the mage root. Yeah. Let's head down this way. Oh, hello? Tully. Okay, I'm I'm seeing a future where we're perhaps gonna have a little bit of a lucrative. A lucrative, uh, a lucrative operation together. I'm gonna head down this way. I tell you what, let me, uh, let me destroy another one of these, another one of these stone piles. There we go. Beautiful. We get mage root. I think we got the mage root. We didn't get the mage root. Destroy. Nice. Okay, we got the one mage root. Another few mage roots. Excellent. Okay, well, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit extra, but it's it's nothing to write home about. We'll head back to the teleporter down south, and then we'll see what else we've got. Uh, the city gates is just down there, I think. I think we're on the right road. Mm. I think I maybe should have taken I should have taken that that entrance. Ah, whatever. We're, we're at the city gates. The portal is right here. Excellent. Let's, uh, let us head... Let us head back up north. And we'll see if we can try and... Oh, hello. Hello, Barb. Barb the Druid. Well, I hope you're enjoying all of the potions that I, uh... That I made. Let's go and... What do I need to do? I need to check out the Shroompedia. Uh, there we go. So... Where do we think, where do we think 
the notes would be. Basic brewing. No, no, no. I don't need basic brewing. Is there anything on how I actually make the recipe? Healing? Yeah. Yeah. What about... But what about... Um, edibles, minerals? That's the mage root. Yeah, can I research the mage root, actually? Let's do that. Whoops, wrong one. All right, let's have a little look-see. Okay, lucidity. Gives you a tiny increase to cooldown reduction for the rest of the day. Okay, can I research the centipede too? Okay, we discovered mage root, but mana potion, do we have an idea about how to, how to make the mana potion? Let's see if we can... Can I... Oh, I can't destroy that yet. Uh, let's put this in here. Put that in there. Stop everything, please. Oops. Stop all workstations. There we go. Let's move this in there, this in there. Move all the junk out of here. Okay, and we'll take that out of yonder. There we go. And we'll maybe finish the rest of the... The rest of the stuff up here. There we go. Extract that. Okay. Let us let us see if that ends up working out. Start everything, please. Let's go. There we go. So there may be a little bit of a transition. Yeah, there might be one more healing potion left in the left in the mix. Maybe one or two, but I'm not overly concerned. 25 mana potions. The problem is the bottles really more than anything else. The bottles really are the most hard to come by things. Is that the mana potion? It looks mana, it looks mana potion-y. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, let us... Looks like there was an, a, an extra little bit of uh, red potion there. Let's snooze, and then we'll go and grab the rest of the bottles that we need in order to make this. We're definitely going to be able to get it done. It'd be nice if I could increase the number of bottles per day. That would be great. But I can't, so I won't. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. She takes a 25% cut. That, to be fair, given that she owns the place, that's actually not too bad. That's a pretty good deal, if I do indeed say so myself. We sold 55 bottles. I maybe could have sold a little bit more, but that's not too bad. Look at this. Customer experience. Oh, this is fantastic. Customers do better on their adventures based on the potency of the potions that they buy. I had no idea that our shop was so popular. Look at this. Oh, it's fantastic. Everybody is loving, everybody is loving my healing potions. They've gone down an absolute storm. I saw Cecil in here, uh, in here earlier. He didn't buy any. He was just window shopping. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, pick up all those potions. We got 20. That's pretty good. We'll go and get the remaining five done. There we go. Bottle subscription. Nab that. Excellent. And we'll head back downstairs. Uh, we'll start the process. There we go. We got 21. How many mage roots have we got? Still 25 left. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's actually totally fine. Totally fine. Right, let's get these in the store. Let's get those in the store too. That's going to be... We need four extra potions. Four extra potions and we'll be across the line. Excellent. That is... That's our four. Perfect. It's just that simple. Whoops. There we go. Okay, well, I hope... Uh, I hope Zen, the wizard, can find what he's looking for. A little busy bee. Fantastic. The quality of your mixtures could improve. Well, I mean... You could maybe be a little bit politer. But hey-ho. What am I reading? Like, notes? I need to read these three notes. Yeah, okay. Ingredient, extractor, mixture, bottle. Yeah, that's the basic stuff. The advanced stuff, extract, extract, distill, bottle. Or crush, kiln, furnace, bottle maker. Okay, that's cool. And then perfect potions. Oh, my lordy. Well. Look. Here's the thing. Our potions are probably going to be fine. Yeah, nice. The Shroompedia. Yeah, we've looked at that. We've looked at that. We've looked at that. We have looked at that. What do you want? What do you want? Boggle Woggle is, uh... 
Boggle Woggle is, uh, is going on and on and on. Right, what do you want? You want to build a kiln. Yeah, let's get a kiln. Let's get a kiln in place, eh? So what can we, what can we do here? Ooh, charcoal discovered. Furnace unlocked. Well, let's get the kiln built. Does it really matter where we build it? Oh, we, well, we need uh, stone and clay. Uh, we might actually be able to do that right now, in fact. I might not have enough clay, but might just need a little bit more. I need a little bit more stone, which we have in the chest. A little bit more clay. Right, get rid of this junk. And keep brewing with the mage root. That's fine. We'll head out. In fact, actually, don't. You know what? Don't do that. I'm going to keep the mage root just in case I need it for something. We've got plenty of potions. I mean, it's not like I need cash for anything. So I think we just deal with it. Just deal with it. Just deal with the fact that we're maybe not going to make as much as we absolutely possibly could for like a day. But whatever we get from this rock, it'll pretty much guarantee us the ability to build what we need to build. But I would like another stone, please. One more stone would be nice. It's a wall down there. Uh, sure. Use... Beautiful. Well, I don't think that uh, you can really complain altogether too much about that special ability. That worked very, very nicely. Very, very time efficient. Right. Have I slept? Did I get the bottles from today? I did, apparently. Man, honestly, getting more bottles would be great. That would be really, really nice. Okay. Uh, put that in there. Although that might... Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's get the let's get the kiln built. What am I what am I gonna be doing? I need to I'm gonna probably gonna need to like move this kiln around at some point. In fact, I'm definitely gonna need to move it around. Now you can make bricks. Ooh, nice. I like that a lot. Right, ask Boggle Woggle to expand the workshop. Yeah, let's nab this. Put this in here. Am I gonna have to automate this? I probably am, am I? Oops, wrong way around. Don't know why that happened. Right, clay into brick, presumably. I can... Do I need coal? I think I may very well need coal. Can I click start, or will I need to get another input? I don't even need another input. It'll just work as is. Doesn't seem like a great thing to do, to sort of churn out all of these, you know, noxious fumes over here, but hey-ho. Uh, let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves another chest. Sure. Sure. Another chest. That goes in there. Uh, yep. One. Excuse me. You don't want to... You don't want to do this. What's the issue here? Okay. Ask... We get, okay, whatever. Let's let's ask him to expand the workshop. Manage, expand workshop. What do we need? We need a whole heck of a lot of stuff. Okay, we need 50 bricks, 25 or 50 wood, 25 clay as well. Oh my lordy! And the kiln needs resources, but I can't seem to put that into the kiln. Why is that not the case? Uh, can I try dismantling this? Uh, yeah, we dismantle by doing. Oops, right clicking. Dismantle, right click, dismantle. Yeah, let's let's maybe see if we can try try again. Build a crate. Sure. And we build that. In there like so. Excellent. Is it maybe the wrong There we go. Okay. I will try that. Okay, and then you turn on all workstations. Let's see if it works. Okay, that does seem to look that does seem to look pretty good. It's getting us bricks, which is excellent. Right. So what did we need? We needed coin. Fine. We need way more stone, way more bricks, way more woods. I mean, let's go. I guess we have to go and I guess we have to go and get some uh, get some more bricks more than anything else. How's my inventory looking? It's looking a little sketchy, but it's not looking... Oh, 
Not looking bad. Okay. A few nice, easy wins there. And we'll get a little bit more clay. Everybody's gonna be happy. I wanna find out what this B sign means. Is there a beekeeper? I mean, honey seems like a pretty a pretty good alchemical sort of uh, sort of potion. Are you gonna teleport? Oh, you're just straight up gonna teleport away. Can I destroy the B sign? No, prohibited from destroying the B sign. A tragedy. A tragedy of epic proportions. Right, yoink that, yoink that. Uh, even if I need, even if I have the required number of bricks, I still need to get the. I still need to get the other stuff. I still need to get extra clay. Yeah, and clay is not super forthcoming. How do I increase my inventory space? Oh, I can do that easily. Let's do that. That's nice. It's a nice little bonus right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, where are the rocks more numerous? You'd think the mine, but to be fair, when we went over to the mine, it didn't really look like there were many more rocks over at the mine. That was effective. That was good. That was really, really good. Nice. Okay. Good. Let's go and do this. Yeah, it does say that smash some mineral deposits, the quarry would be a good place to start. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think there's a bespoke quarry. I think there is just the old mine, unless I'm... Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm pretty convinced that that is the case. It would be nice if I could teleport without the use of the teleporter things, but that's fine. Also, let me see if I can try and use the, the scythe on these. Yeah, what the heck is that? Fibers? Uh, what's the berry? It's literally a strawberry. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a very basic type of berry. Okay, we can't see this, this rock, but that's fine. Right, 50 bricks. Uh, I think I, I still need more. Not many more, but I do need a few more. Yeah, okay, smash a few more. Okay, I think that should be enough. I think that should be enough of everything. Don't quote me on that, but it looks, it looks very, very good. The bees are up this way. Let's go and find the bees. Yeah. You knew you knew something like that was going to happen, eh? Can we No. No. No, oh, yeah, that was that was not a that was not a great that was not a great way to tackle bees. But presumably, I mean, I'll come back to life in in the bed, I would imagine. Is the witch going to nurse me back to nurse me back to full health? I wouldn't say no to that. Okay, well, yeah, 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 can we, can we go through this? I'm delighted that everybody's buying from me, but if everybody buys from me, then it takes about a billion years to get through, apparently. Oh. Great. Cecil? No, Cecil's, uh, Cecil's still not interested. Did I lose all my stuff? Oh, no, I didn't. I teleported back. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, how many bricks did I get? Let's uh, let's put more in here. Let's get 50. Yep, that's fine. How many did I need? Manage shop, expand workshop. Plenty of bricks. And if I get one more... If I get one more load, one more load of wood, then we'll be able to get, uh, we'll be able to get in. Healing potions? Yeah, I can get you some healing potions. How many, how many do you want? 25 healing potions? That's fine. Fine with me. Fine with me. Any wood left that I have yet to destroy? There's a few trees down here. Nothing... Nothing too expansive, though. How much is that? 16 wood? Okay. Literally, like, two more trees and we're, and we're there. All right. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll maybe chop down a few trees on the way back. That's fine. There we go. 
Nice. And this one. Good stuff. I cannot hit that tree stump, apparently. Really struggling to hit tree stumps. Either way, it doesn't matter. We've got the goods. We've got the goods. Let's also get the, the bottle collection as well. I need the bottles. Uh, bottle service, 25. Excellent. Uh, I, uh, do I want to do the daily mission? I guess I kind of do. Maybe on that basis, I should try and get a few more... Uh, a few more caps. That should be enough, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like 20. 20 something. I know we've got a few back at the uh, back at the base. Right, we'll do the 25 healing potions. Get more bricks. Excellent. Uh, stick those in there. Yep, nice. Those in there. That's cool. I don't think that we've got anything else of use in the chest. It's fine. Uh, and let's get expanding, shall we? We need, still need more bricks. Goodness gracious me, how many bleeding bricks do we need? Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty. We just need to... We just need to do the flipping job. There we go. Okay, I don't want to sleep yet. I'd like to wait until we have the bricks before we sleep. Yeah, can we customize the shop? Is that possible? I guess maybe not in the demo version. That's fine. Literally four more bricks. Yeah, the unfortunate reality is that we can't sleep because I think if we if we um, return to Odie this is okay. I don't know who Odie is. Uh, the point is if we go to sleep I think that'll end my daily quest. I'm not sure but I'd rather not chance it. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Let's get the upgrade. Boom. The deed is done. Uh, you know what? Maybe I don't necessarily care. Maybe I don't necessarily care if this daily quest doesn't end up working out. Let's go and- let's go and snooze. I want to see what this brand new workshop is gonna bring. It's gonna be lovely. Go to bed. Talk to Boggle Woggle. Get the job done. Man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, probably didn't make a ton, but I didn't make a ton of potions on that day. Yet. Yeah. You're just, you're a fiend for my product. You love to see it. Um, we may need to talk to these people. If we talk to these people, then I presume that would be grand. And there you go, more space for you to stumble around. Consider this the end of your goblin demonstration period. You're free to do whatever you want now. And we're free to end the demo. Excellent. This is great. The, magic, the magical mixtures mill. Uh, is very very cool. I like that a lot. I mean, there's I mean, I presume there's a few other bits and bobs that we could uh, that we could possibly do uh, I have no idea how much more how much more time this has to run. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could okay We can't even expand anymore We can't expand anymore. Uh, the only possible thing that we could do are daily quests and I mean haste potions. There's probably a few more potions that we can brew, uh, but at the end of the day uh, I feel like that's a great place to wrap things up. This is a super exciting title I really am excited to see where this goes um, there's obviously so much more that you can do in the in the automation uh, In the automation department. I can't wait to see uh, what this game has in store in the future It is gonna be fantastic. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap that up for now, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, my name, of course, has been Obito Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.